I don't get how beauty influencers do this, but this is a piece of Uranium 238. I'm working on a new book about the atomic bomb program and I have 206 days to get my manuscript into my publisher, so let's have another check-in. This week, I'm actually out of town. So there hasn't been as much writing this week because of the traveling, so I thought instead I would actually share uh, one of my cooler recent purchases, which is a piece of Uranium. <laughs> So there's multiple isotopes when we're talking about uranium for a bomb, and the most common one is uranium-235. That was the fuel for Little Boy, which was the first bomb dropped on Hiroshima during the war. The other isotope that's interesting in the story is uranium-239. So 235 is a very fissionable isotope of uranium. When it's hit with a neutron, it breaks apart, and it releases more neutrons that can then hit other uranium atoms, and that is how you get the chain reaction. Naturally occurring uranium has some of that fissionable 235 in it, but it's mostly 238. But sometimes, if you bombard a sample of uranium with a neutron, it actually absorbs it and becomes uranium-239. Uranium-239 is another unstable isotope and it eventually decays into element 93, which is neptunium. It was the discovery of element 93 that then got scientists thinking about element 94, plutonium, and specifically the isotope 239, which theory said and math said should be even more fissile than uranium-235. And that became the fuel of the plutonium bombs. All of that is the lightning fast version, which is just to say, it's kind of neat owning a piece of uranium.